All right, thanks. Bye. All right. What? Can I go? All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second game of the Newark National Invitational Tournament here at Essex County College in Newark, New Jersey. Our second game today, we just finished our first game between Malcolm X Shabazz High School and Blair Academy, and Shabazz came out on top. That was a girls' game. And our game right now, is St. Peter's Prep against Gil St. Bernard's School. Right now, St. Peter's is riding a successful 14-2 season, and on the other end, Gil St. Bernard's is also having a successful season as well with a 12-3 record. St. Uh, Gil St. Bernard's defeated Immaculata 84-49 last night at home, and for St. Peter's Prep, they defeated Kearney a very close game, 69-19 on the road last night. And now that we got that out of the way, let's introduce this, they're introducing the starting lineups right now. So I'll introduce them for you. So they're introducing the Knights right now of Gil St. Bernard's. So we got number double zero, Ian Demarest. Number five, Adam Mitola. Number 10, Harrison Demera. Number 12, John Michael J.M. Me. And number 32, Jonas Stakalonis. And the head coach is Mergen Cena. His assistant coach is Kyle Just, Carlton Owens, and Cliff Schaefer. For St. Peter's Prep, we got number two, Austin White. Number 13, Nathaniel Pierre-Lewis. Number tw 22, Jordan Whitehead. Number 33, Sean Ryan. And number 55, Vic Justino, the head coach of St. Peter's Prep. Todd Decker, his assistant coaches, Ken Teschlag, William James, and Alex Mirabel. And so we're just about to get ready for tip-off. Just finishing up uh, the starting lineups for St. Peter's Prep. St. Peter's is in white tonight, and Gil St. Bernard's is in black. So as you can tell, St. Peter's Prep will be the home team on the scoreboard, and Gil St. Bernard's will be the away team on the scoreboard. So looking at these two teams, you know, they're both private schools, uh, can get a lot of talent from wherever. Both have incredible records. Only one game really separates them. But I think I'm looking forward to a good game, as I'm sure you guys are at home watching this. So on the previous broadcast between Shabazz and Blair, we had Matt Nelson doing the play-by-play. -play. He'll be joining me for the next game coming up after this, which is going to be St. Benedict's Prep and Roselle Catholic. So the two of us will be giving that broadcast to you guys here live as soon as this game is over with. But getting back to this game, it's just me doing the play-by-play, -play, so aren't you people lucky? So let's get started. With the tip-off, we got number 55 for St. Peter's Prep, Vic Jacino, and number 22, number, sorry, number 32, Jonas Sakalonis, and St. Peter's Prep will start with the ball. We got number 13, Nathaniel Pierre-Lewis with it, and he gives it to Austin White. Austin White at the top of the key. He'll pass it back to Pierre-Lewis. Looks like they want to go inside, and they will. And some pass ball going on. A jump ball by Austin White goes in. A nice baseline shot to get things going. St. Peter's Prep starts on the board, 2 to nothing. And St. Peter's Prep really doing full court man. Uh, surprising that they would do that at the beginning of the game, but it looks like they want to instill some pressure into Gil St. Bernard's and make them force a few things. Uh, maybe St. Uh, St. Peter's can get some uh, good steals going, but we'll see how that strategy comes into effect as Gil St. Bernard's tries to match St. Peter's Prep's score. Ball goes out of bounds. It will stay with St. Gil Bernard's. So an inbounds pass, a three ball attempted by number 12, John Michael May goes right in. So that's how Gil St. Bernard's gets started. They counter St. Peter's Prep two-pointer with a three-pointer. So right now they have the lead. St. Peter's Prep, as well as Gil St. Bernard's, wants to get an offensive flow going to get started. And double teamed there. Victor Cena was double teamed. And foul there will go to Gil St. Bernard's. So we're only a minute, three seconds into the game, and it looks like Gil St. Bernard's is taking control of this, even though that's a little too soon to say anything. But Gil St. Bernard's will be coming up with the ball. J.M. Me coming up the court. Uh, 
Pretty heavy man pressure there. Nathaniel Pierre-Lewis is on him. And, ooh, mishandling of the ball by jo Jonas Stuck-Lunas. And coming down the court, number 13, Nathaniel Pierre-Lewis draws a foul. And look to be uh, number 32, Jonas Stuck-Lunas for Gil St. Bernard's. And it is. So Pierre-Lewis will be going to the line to shoot two for St. Peter's. And his first shot. Ooh, rims out. Very unfortunate there. So Pierre Lewis, his second shot. Will be coming up shortly. Once he gets going. And he gets that second shot to go. So St. Peter's prep evens the game at three. So coming up to court for Gil St. Bernard's, JM Me, once again. Looks to be the play caller for Gil St. Bernard's. Ooh, a little, ooh, little floater right there. Almost got stolen away, but Gil St. Bernard's hangs on to it. A three-pointer attempt once again. Ooh, just misses. That was taken by number five, Adam Matola. A good attempt. It was just off, just a little uh, unluckiness from the bouncing off the rim. But now St. Peter's Prep has a chance to take the lead. Austin White has it. He passes it on over to Jordan Whitehead. And some more pass ball trying to swing it around the perimeter. Austin White has it down low to Jacino. And jump ball. It will stay with St. Peter's. Now we're going to continue play. Sean Ryan for St. Peter's will inbound the ball. Looking for someone down low. He'll find Whitehead. And mishandling of the ball. Goes out of bounds again. Who are they going to call it? They're going to call it stay with St. Peter's. So once again, Sean Ryan inbounding the ball from underneath the basket. Play set up with that. Yeah, they'll give it to Austin White at the top of the key. Looks like he wants to set up a pick, but instead he'll pass it over. A little more swing action. Austin White gets the ball back. He has a three attempt. Goes off. Rebounded by number 32, Jonas Stakalunas for Gil St. Bernard's. And once again, JME coming up the court looking for somebody who wants to call a play. And it appears that we're going to have a substitution when we get an opportunity to. So we got a timeout, a 30-second timeout called by Go St. Bernard's. And the substitution for St. Peter's Prep will be Caleb Bishop. So on the other end of this timeout, we'll find out who he's subbing in for. But so far, pretty decent play. I'd say a lot of def uh, defensive power right now. Uh, too soon to say about how the offenses are going, but plenty of pressure and man coverage and a lot of action down low trying to get those rebounds. is working in both defenses' favors, but we need to see some offensive flow from either teams in order to make this an interesting game. So we got 527 remaining in the first period. A 3-3 tie, of course. So as we resume play, St. Peter's will start with it. So we got Nathaniel Pierre Lewis up, come up the court with it. And it gives it to Austin White. And some swing action down low. And Halley Oop by number five, Caleb Bishop. A great pass there to get that Halley Oop. So, what a way to take advantage of his first few minutes on the court. And I think I have a hunch here. I think like they devised that play during the 30 second timeout. Worked to their advantage. So, it's a good offensive production on St. Peter's Prep's part. And a missed shot there by Gil St. Bernard's gives the ball back to St. Peter's Prep. And Austin White passing it on over. And a three ball attempt by Nathaniel Pierre Lewis goes off the rim. Rebounded by number 10, Harrison DeMera for Gil St. Bernard's. And they'll come back down the court with it. Looking to get down low. Oh, a mishandling of the ball by Jonas Stakalunas. Gives the ball back to St. Mary's. And we got a substitution for Gil St. Bernard's. So we got number, number 55, Julius Stoma, coming in for Gil St. Bernard's. And for St. Peter's Prep, number 24, Austin Roach. And Austin White gets the ball again, trying to drive in the lane. Takes an adjustment, can't get the adjustment to go. Rebounded by Ian Damaris for Gil St. Bernard's. And coming down the court, number 55, Julius Stoma, looking for a lane to drive in. He can't find it, but he'll try to give it back out to J.M. Me. J.M. Me has it. And... And we got a untied shoe. Officials timeout. 
That was number 13, Nathaniel P. Lewis. Uh, might have to take a refresher course in tying shoes for a high school basketball game. But anyway, back to the action. Gil St. Bernards has the ball. JME looking to do something. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touched by St. Peter's Prep. So we'll stay with Gil St. Bernards. So another inbounds pass. We got number double zero, Ian Damaris, for Gil St. Bernards. And Adam Matola has the ball looking for a lane to drive in. He has Austin White on him. He wants to give it out. Ooh, down low. Nice opportunity. Ian Damaris went up with a shot, but St. Peter's got called for goaltending. Caleb Bishop, I believe. So that gives Gil St. Bernard's two points, and that gives them a 5-5 tie. So no, no scoring runs just yet, no offensive outburst, but plenty of defense, as we saw so far in this game. As Gil St. Uh, St. Peter's prep has the ball, a three-ball attempt by number 33. Sean Ryan can't get it to go. Rebounded by number five, Adam Matola for Gil St. Bernard's. Coming up the court, J.M. Me looking to drive in, but he'll pass it out to number 10, Harrison Demera, who gets the baseline three to go. Well, on the scoreboard, they have it counted as a two-pointer. But I believe it was a three, so we'll stay, we'll stay with the three call. And Austin White giving it to Pierre Lewis, driving in, trying to find a lane. Tried to pass it back out, but it was stolen by number five, Adam Matola for Gil St. Bernard's. And another steal by St. Peter's. Austin White coming to drive in for the easy layup. Gets it to go. Eight to seven, Gil St. Bernard's now. St. Peter's narrows the lead down the one. And JME coming up the court, looking for people to help him out. He, he might be looking for a pick, but no, he'll pass it out to Number 50, uh, 55, Julius Stoma, driving in was JME, couldn't get it to go. And a little tip ball there. Gil St. Bernard's hangs on with it. JME once again has the ball. Looking for a lane to drive in. We'll get the floater, a nice floater by JME to get the two points for Gil St. Bernard's. It's 10 to 7 now. And we got a timeout on St. Peter's. So we'll see a 30-second timeout called by St. Peter's Prep. So I can't say it's a low-scoring affair just yet, but I can't say it's a high-scoring affair either. It's only 10-7 to with 2.19 remaining in the first period. Both defenses have been playing strong, and most of the points that have been scored have been courtesy of steals, um, defensive rebounds, goaltending. <laughs> so a lot, a lot of things to uh, cover right now for both teams. But Gil St. Bernard's holds a three-point lead, and I don't know about private schools, but I don't think any lead's safe at any point in the game when it comes to playing against a private school. So we're going to resume play here. Looks like we got number one, Naja Hunter, subbing in for St. Peter's Prep, and he'll be inbounding the ball to number 11, Jordan Harris. So Jordan Harris will come up with the ball for St. Peter's Prep. So looking for a target, some swing action. Austin White has the ball. He'll give it down low, and a nice adjustment by Naja Hunter. Looked like they wanted to get the alley-oop, but Naja Hunter was wise enough to make the adjustment while in the air to get the two to fall. So 10-9, to nine, Gil St. Bernard's, and a backdoor cut. A good play by Gil St. Bernard's to stay with a three-point lead. A nice. So that was Adam Matola there with the backdoor cut to get the two for Gil St. Bernard's. And driving in. We got St. Peter's, Austin White once again looking for somebody. Ooh, little defensive pressure there. Had him, made him give up the ball. And Gil St. Bernard's coming up to court, JME. Passing it to Ian Damaris. The three ball can't go. So Austin White once again coming up for St. Peter's prep. Minute 30 remaining in the first period. So some double team here by Gil St. Bernard's. Couldn't really work to their advantage. Naja Hunter trying to drive in. He finds a target. He finds Austin White, he gives it back to Hunter, and some more pass action. Ooh, a little miscommunication there. Gil St. Bernard's hangs on to the ball, and Gil St. Bernard's calls a timeout, just as number five, Adam Matola, lands on the ball. So a good, good call by uh, Mergencino for Gil St. Bernard's to call that timeout, and an opportunity to extend Gil, Gil St. Bernard's lead to either five or six, depending on their preference. So, once again, 111 one remaining here in the first period. Gil St. Bernard's holds a 12-9 lead. Only one foul so far in this game, and that is courtesy of Gil St. Bernard's. There's one team foul compared to St. Peter's, nothing. 
So another uh, statistical category that Gil St. Pinares is leading in. So we're going to resume play here. Gil St. Pinares will have the ball, courtesy of the steal before by Adam Matola. And Adam Matola will be inbounding the ball. So he'll inbound it to J.M. Me. And we got Ian Damaris with the ball. He gives it back to me. Not me, the person, J.M. Me. Now we got Adam Matola here with the ball, just playing off the perimeter as much as they can. And now J.M. Me is driving in. And he passes it on over to Damaris, looking for any target. I'm sorry, not uh, Damaris, Julius Stoma. So, ooh, in the lane is Damaris, who takes a jump shot, can't get it to go. And rebounded by number 24 for St. Peter's, Austin Roach. Now coming up the court is Pierre Lewis for St. Peter's prep. We got Sean Ryan with the ball, but a jump shot by Austin Roach goes in. So that dwindles Gil St. Bernard's lead to one. So we only got almost 15 seconds remaining here in the first period. Looks like Gil St. Bernard's wants to hold for the final shot of the quarter. J.M. Me has it, and it's up to his jurisdiction on who he should give it to. And they're trying to get down low in the paint, but J.M. Me almost thought about a three, but we only got three seconds remaining. they got to hurry with a shot, and the last shot of the quarter by number five. Adam Matola goes in, and it was a three-pointer. So 15-11 to 11 as we end the first quarter. Gil Simpinards holds a four-point lead. So a good job by Gil Simpinards here in the first period. Uh, plenty of three action, uh, good defensive pressure down low, made St. Peter's pressure, uh, a lot of things to give him up to give up the ball. So we're seeing some steady flow from both sides. Looks like Gilson Pinards has the advantage. So we're taking a quick breather. And uh, this is, this uh, of course, is the Newark National Tournament. This is our second game. We have a third game coming up at the end of this one. It will be St. Benedict's Prep and Roselle Catholic. So looking forward to that. And also, just uh, flipping through the program here, this tournament is a tribute to Brian C. Doherty, who uh, fortunately passed away back in 2001. And he was responsible for this uh, tournament. Well, he was named after this tournament. And this tournament started in 2003. And it was named in his honor. So we're going to get back to the action here. Go St. Bernard's will start with the ball and chance to extend their lead. So we're going to start off with number five, Adam Matola for Go St. Bernard's. Trying to get his team going. Oh, made Austin White fall, but it will pick back up a traveling call by Matola. So they'll give the ball back to St. Peter's Prep, their first possession of the second quarter. So Pierre Lewis will be calling the shots for St. Peter's. And it looks like Austin White has the ball. He'll pass it on over to Sean Ryan. And now back to Pierre Lewis, right by my, right in front of me. Austin White looking for something to drive in. He'll pass it out instead to Sean Ryan. And Austin White will take a baseline three. Will it go? It's off the front of the rim. And rebounded by Gil St. Bernard's by number 32, Jonas Sakalunas. But a little uh, scrimmage for the ball. Ends up in Gil St. Bernard's hands. And a three-pointer. Once again, good. So, great offensive effort so far. That was Ian Damaris with the baseline three. So, Gil St. Bernard is finding their flow with three-pointers, no matter who touches the ball and who tries to take the three. And that's why they hold an 18-11 to 11 lead so far, as we're only a little over a minute here in the second period. So, Pierre Lewis, a little pass action once again by St. Pierre's Prep. Ooh, backcourt violation looks like it. Oh, but Pierre Lewis able to save it. And we got a three-pointer by number 22, Jordan Whitehead, which goes off. And now Gable St. Bernard's gets the ball back. Another opportunity to extend their lead. Oh, Ian Damaris has an open lane, but he'll pass it out to Adam Matola, who can't get the three to go. Rebounded by Pierre Lewis for St. Peter's prep. And coming down the lane, stolen by J.M. Me, but he stepped out of bounds. The people on Gil St. Bernard's bench uh, beg to differ, but it's always the ref's final call. It looked like J.M. Me tried to save it from going out of bounds, but it looked like he stepped on the line before he jumped. 
So as much as St. Gil St. Bernard's wants to plead their case, it's going to be overruled. So St. Peter's Prep gets a good opportunity here to cut into Gil St. Bernard's lead. Number 11, Jordan Harris going in, stolen away by number 10 for Gil St. Bernard's Harrison Demera. And now we got JME once again coming up with the ball. He gives it to Demaris. Demaris looking for somebody down low. He'll give it to JME. JME, same case, looking for someone down low. JME driving in. He had Jordan Harris on him, and looks like they'll call foul on Jordan Harris. And they will. It was a holding call. So that'll be St. Peter's first team foul. Okay, so there was an inbounds pass to J.M. May. J.M. May has the ball again. Some pass ball once again. So J.M. May trying to find something he could drive into or give it to somebody. J.M. May almost falls down but gives it to Julius Stoma who gets the two to fall. So it's... So, a little establish and play there. Looked like JME is fine. He just fell to the floor. Able to shake it off. So, Gil St. Bernard holds a 20 to 11 lead. So, this is getting pretty interesting. We might see Gil St. Bernard's pull away with this. Too soon to say. It's only the first half. But St. Peter's Prep has to find some offensive production in order to make this game close again. Because last thing they want to do is go into the half down by at least 10. But we got a timeout by St. Peter's. And it looks like we have a 30-second timeout for St. Peter's. So at this point in the second quarter, it's 5.08 remaining. Gil St. Bernard's holds a pretty controlling 20-11 to 11 lead. The score may suggest something else, but the way Gil St. Bernard's has been playing on the court with defense and their three action and their steady shooting overall has given them the advantage here. So we're going to resume play after this quick 30-second timeout. That was St. Peter's second timeout. So here we go. Back to the action. St. Peter's prep of the ball. Pierre Lewis, the top of the key. You'll find Austin White. Oh, he has a lot, plenty of time for a three. Took his time but couldn't get it to fall. But rebounded by number 55, Vic Giacino. So St. Peter's will stay with the ball. And a three ball by Pierre Lewis. Off the rim again, but rebounded. Ooh, I want to say rebounded by Victor Cino, but lost control of the ball. And it will stay with St. Peter's prep. So Austin White will be inbound in the ball for St. Peter's. Pierre Lewis gets a pick from Nigel Hunter. But Gil St. Bernard's putting some pressure on St. Peter's right now. And Austin White has time for a three. He'll take it. Oh, off the front of the rim. Rebounded a good effort by Pierre Lewis with three Gil St. Bernard's players in his face. So, we had Jonas Dekalunas sub in for Gil St. Bernard's. And J.M. May once again come up with the ball. Looks like he's the, uh, the admiral or the general here on the court for Gil St. Bernard's. Or he's the head knight, considering that Gil St. Bernard's team is called the Knights. And trying to drive in was number five, Adam Matola. He'll pass it back out to the top of the key. And once again, Me has it. Me driving in, takes an adjustment, airs it out, but rebounded by Julius Stoma. And we got a jump ball, and it will go to St. Peter's Prep. So much to Merge and Cena's dissatisfaction. It'll go back to St. Peter's Prep. So Pierre Lewis once again calling the shots. Austin White back to Pierre Lewis. Pierre Lewis looking to get it down low. Victor Cena has it, but he'll pass it back out. And it gets relayed to the top of the key. Now baseline. Naja Hunter trying to drive in. A nice spin move off the side of the backboard. And a little scramble for the ball. Looks like a foul is called on number 55 for St. Peter's Prep, Vic Giacino. (laughs) 
So that is the second team foul for St. Peter's Prep so far. Um, yeah, it's like a lot of clean balls so far. Only three combined team fouls for both sides. And we're about three and a half minutes away from ending the first half. So that's a good thing. Not a lot of fouls, but plenty of scoring and plenty of action otherwise. Jam Meese and a little swing action by Gil St. Bernard. It's to be stolen, but a holding call on number 55 for Gil St. Bernard's Julius Stoma. Trying to prevent a steal by St. Peter's Prep, but got caught with a holding. So I think I spoke too soon about the clean play. We now have two team fouls for both teams. So Nathaniel Pierre-Lewis calling the shots for St. Peter's Prep again. Sean Ryan has it. He'll give it back to Pierre-Lewis. And once again to Sean Ryan, but now we're going to get down low. Austin White down low. A foul is called. So Austin White will be going to the line to shoot two. So Ian Damaris got called for that one. So Austin White will go to the line to shoot two and try to narrow this lead to eight or seven. So his first shot goes in. So 20 to 12 now in favor of Gil St. Bernard's. So Austin White's second shot is up and good to go. 20 to 13 now, Gil St. Bernard's. So some full court pressure enforced by St. Peter's Prep doesn't deter Gil St. Bernard's as a jump shot baseline by number double zero. Ian Damaris doesn't go, but a sh other shot by Meek doesn't go in. And we got a ball out of bounds, so we'll stay with St. Peter's. Ooh, and a quick action right there. Nice effort by St. Peter's Prep. Number four of your stink just passed it right off to Austin White. Off the inbounds pass, and Austin White took the open shot. So St. Peter's narrows down, goes St. Bernard's lead to five. So a three-pointer by Indemaris keeps St. Peter's at bay. So 23 to 15, Gil St. Bernard's now. St. Peter's wants to close this gap as much as they can within this last two and a half minutes as we're approaching it. Austin White will pass it to Veer Singh. Give it back out to White and over to Pierre Lewis. And then swing action. Sink will take a three, air balls it. And ball went out of bounds, and it will stay with the Knights of Gil St. Bernard's. So Adam Mattola will be inbounding the ball for the Knights. And he gives it to J.M. May. Ooh, lost control of the ball. It will go out of bounds and back to St. Peter's. So a wasted opportunity there. Gives the ball back to St. Peter's. So some swing action. Austin White. Looks to find somebody. He'll give it to Pierre, jo uh, Pierre Lewis. And he'll look to drive in, but he'll give it back out to Austin White. And Pierre Lewis with a hand in his face is rebounded by Gil St. Bernard's. And Julius Stoma driving in gets the two to go. So they open up a 10-point lead now, Gil St. Bernard's. So plenty of encouragement, plenty of enthusiasm over on Gil St. Bernard's side. Austin White trying to control the flow, but Sink will take a three for St. Peter's. Goes off the backboard and into the hands of number double zero, Ian Damaris, for Gil St. Bernard's. And there was some steady ball there, but tipped away by Vera Sink. It will stay with Gil St. Bernard's. And we got a substitution. So Naja Hunter will sub in for Vera Sink. So the inbounds pass to JME. Go St. Bernard's looking to open up their lead even more. And Ian Damaris driving in, but he'll give it to Harrison Damara, who takes a jump shot, doesn't go. Rebounded by number 24, Austin Roach from St. Peter's Prep, but a foul is called on Go St. Bernard's.
Julia Stoma getting called with that foul for Go St. Bernard's. So Pierre Lewis up the court for St. Peter's Prep. Austin White now has it. And St. Peter's Prep will try to swing it around. And back to Austin White on the far end of the viewer's uh, side of the court. Austin White once again has it. Looking for someone down low, but he'll give it around. And St. Peter's has it, number one. Najah Hanna looking to drive in, but he tries to pass it to number five, Caleb Bishop, stolen away by Gil St. Bernard. So Gil St. Bernard's another opportunity to extend their lead. JME driving in, but he'll give it for a three-ball attempt. It doesn't go. The shot was taken by number 55, Julius Stoma. Good effort by him, but it couldn't get it to fall. He had an open opportunity, took his time, took the shot, just that the lid was closed. So it looks like St. Peter's Preps get a hold for last possession, or close to last possession. Pierre Lewis just hanging on to the ball. If I were to go to St. Bernard's, I'd try to just run up and surprise and try to poke it away, but they'll hold on to it. They'll take their sweet time with it. But he'll pass it out to Naja Hunter and back over to Pierre Lewis. So only 10 seconds remaining here on the clock. They have to set up something quickly. Pierre Lewis, ball goes out of bounds. And Gil St. Bernard's will get the ball back. So Jonas Tuckalumis looks to be subbing in, but we got a timeout. So Gil St. Bernard's calls a 30-second timeout. Oh, full timeout, I'm sorry. Uh, last 6.7 seconds. Uh, looks like, wants, looks like uh, Merchant Cena wants to take all 60 seconds to devise a quick six-second play for Gil St. Bernard's to extend their lead here. They are holding a pretty controlling 25-15 to 15 lead over St. Peter's Prep. We could be looking at something totally different in the second half, but so far in the first half, it looks like Gil St. Bernard's has control of this game. So, once again, we're here at the second game of the Newark National Invitational Tournament, hosted by St. Benedict's Prep. And we're here at Essex County College in Newark, New Jersey. And the game following this will be St. Benedict's Prep against Roselle Catholic, so it looks like the marquee game tonight. But we're going to continue with this game. The Knights try to look to add on to their lead before halftime. 6.7 seconds remaining, and once again, uh, another untied shoe. We'll stop play, but we're going to get back to the action. Ian Damaris will be inbounding the ball for Gill. And we got Jonas Stockalumis coming in. And we got a baseline three attempt. Air balls it. Oh, shot doesn't count. So there was a three ball attempt by Harrison Damaris for Gill St. Bernard's. It aired it. It was rebounded, and an attempt to put it back up for a time went off did not go. So our halftime score once again, Gill St. Bernard's 25, St. Peter's prep. 15. So, once again, we are here at the Newark National Invitational Tournament at Essex County College, hosted by St. Benedict's Prep. This is our second game of the tournament. And, of course, our next matchup will be St. Benedict's Prep and Roselle Catholic. But right now, Gil St. Bernard's is holding a pretty good control of the tempo, 25-15 to 15 in their favor. So, this is Dan Graham once again doing play-by-play -play for you, courtesy of NJ.org Varsity. And we'll be taking a quick halftime break, and when we come back for the third period, it's going to be a 25-15 game in Go St. Bernard's favor. So, we'll see you in the next couple minutes for a second half action. Until then, this is Dan Graham signing off, and we'll see you for the second half.
I think if you don't call out about 10 o'clock for the night. What the heck? All right, everybody, welcome back for a second half coverage of our second game of the Newark National Invitational Tournament here on the campus of Essex County College in Newark, New Jersey. Right now, our second game is uh, pretty interesting here in the first half, uh, a lot further apart than what we imagined. We have Gil St. Bernard's up on St. Peter's Prep 25 to 15. And we had plenty of action uh, so far in the first half, plenty of steals for Gil St. Bernard's. Uh, one of the standout players for Go St. Bernard's was Ian Damaris. I don't know how many uh, threes that he made, but uh, his contribution to this game has really made the 10-point difference that Go St. Bernard's has. So, St. Peter's prep, it's a whole new half, a whole new beginning, and uh, I believe that Go St. Bernard's will be getting the ball first, so St. Peter's prep has to find uh, an answer to what Go St. Bernard's has been dishing out so far. I mean, a lot of, a lot of the Mistakes St. Peter's Prep has, uh, has been making was from uh, offensive-wise. They've been playing pretty good defense, but they can't help the, uh, the big shots when they go in. It's all about uh, just being fortunate. And uh, always the, the best defensive strategy is to just hold the uh, offense to one shot. And it's just 50-50 it's just uh, from that point on. But we're going to start second, ha uh, second half here, third quarter. And number five, Adam Matola, will inbound the ball for Gil St. Bernard's. So here we go, let's get going. So he gives it to JME. And looks like once again, St. Peter's Prep putting on that man coverage. But I think St. Peter's Prep knows already by now that if they give St. Gil St. Bernard's an inch, they're going to take a foot. And that might be one right there. 
And a nice three-pointer by Gil St. Bernards. So that was JME again with another three. So him and Ian Damaris really been making the threes tonight for Gil St. Bernards. And that three-pointer might set the tempo for this half, but we have plenty of action here, so we'll see what St. Peter's has to offer here. And staying with the hook shot goes off the glass and back into the hands of Gil St. Bernards. Number five, Adam Matola has it. Driving in the lane, he has Austin White on him pretty hard. And, ooh, looks like we got a traveling called. Julius Stoma for Gil St. Bernards trying to drive in the lane baseline, but couldn't get, I guess, the ball to dribble enough. So, traveling call will get St. Peter's prep the ball back. So, Naja Hunter will be subbing in for St. Peter's prep. And Pierre Lewis coming up the court for St. Peter's prep. St. Peter's looking to set up a play. He'll give it to Singh. Singh trying to drive in the lane. He'll take the shot himself. Goes off, a little floater, but a foul is called. So we'll see who the foul is on in a second. And it was on Adam Atoll for Gil St. Bernard's. And Vic Cicino will be going to line the shoot too. He was trying to put the rebound up, but he got fouled in midair. So he'll get a chance to get two right here. His first shot sinks right in. And we got a substitution for Gil St. Bernard's, number 32, Jonas Stakalunas. And number 55, Victor Cino will be shooting his second attempt. First shot was good, his second, same result. So 28 to 17 now in favor of Gil St. Bernard's. Gil St. Bernard's just, at this point, they want to just keep an offensive flow going, get the points on the board, just make sure St. Peter's prep is kept at bay. I think my preference would be just keep them uh, above 10 points. And it was a shot right there, rebounded by Pierre Lewis for St. Peter's Prep. Coming down the other way, fast-paced Austin White with a jump shot. Couldn't get it to go, and now a little scrummage for the ball. Ends up with Gil St. Bernard's. Ian Damaris had the ball. He passes it out to J.M. Me. So, Naja Hunter on J.M. Me pretty hard. And it passes it on to Stakalunas, and he'll give it down low. Looking for a target is Damaris, but back out again. And Damaris will get the shot in the paint. Ooh, bad luck right there. Just in and out of the rim. And Veer Singh came up with the rebound. And it looks like we got a non-shooting foul on Gil St. Bernard's. So Harrison DeMaro getting called with that one. That is Gil St. Bernard's second team foul of the half. So we're not even two minutes into this half. And we already have two team fouls. We went an entire first half. And it was only four team fouls combined. And Veer Sink will be taking a three attempt. Couldn't get it to go. Rebounded by Gil St. Bernard's. And another foul. So it's like Grips, you seeing a lot of fouls this half. So Vic Justino being called for that one for St. Peter's Prep. Another non-shooting foul. So Gil St. Bernard's will stay with the ball. 5.53 remaining here in the third quarter. And we got Ian Damaris coming up. He has an open target. He has Harrison Damaris attempting a baseline three. Couldn't get it to go. Rebounded by Pierre Lewis, but stolen away by number 32, Jonas Stakalunas, but couldn't get the shot to go. So St. Peter's Prep come back down the other way with the ball. And Naja Hunter driving in. A floater goes off the front of the rim into the hands of Gil St. Bernard's. And another foul. So St. Peter's Prep keeps this up. We might be seeing a lot of uh, foul shooting later on. So Naja Hunter being called with that foul for St. Peter's. So two people coming in for St. Peter's prep. Number five, Caleb Bishop. And number 33, Sean Ryan for St. Peter's. And Gil St. Bernard is coming up again. J.M. Me. He's been playing a lot of minutes. I don't think he sat on the bench yet. J.M. Me looking to drive in. A foul is called. So it's going to be a pushing call. So Jordan Harris getting called with that one. So far, Gil St. Bernard's has nothing to complain about, but they shouldn't be satisfied with anything at this point. Because an 11 point lead up against a team like St. Peter's is no uh, comfort. So, ball went out of bounds. Gil St. Bernard's will stay with the ball. And number five, Adam Matola has it, looking to set up something. He has White on him pretty hard. Ooh, down low. Ooh, an open opportunity right there. But swatted away by Sean Ryan. But the ball will go to St. Peter's Prep. 
Looked like Jonas Takalunas had an open lane, but Sean Ryan was able to get in there and interrupt it. St. Peter's Prep, another opportunity to cut into this lead. Number 33, Sean Ryan trying to do something about it, but he'll give it to Jordan Harris. And we got Austin White with the ball now. Another steady player for St. Peter's. Ooh, trying to drive in, Sean Ryan. Ball went off his foot and went out of bounds, so Gil St. Benares will begin the ball back. So we're getting back to the action. JME going pretty fast down the court, but he has Jordan Harris draped on him pretty hard. And he gets a pick from Ian Damaris. He tries to drive in. A nice turnaround shot. Ooh, couldn't get it to go. Ball out of bounds. Last touch by St. Peter's. So Naja Hunter, another substitution for St. Peter's prep. Naja Hunter coming in. So JME will be inbounding the ball for the Knights of Gil St. Bernard's. He'll pass it to... Adam Matola, and then back to the top of the key. Who is Matola? And nice, some more pass action. And down in the paint is Dakalunas. He tries to get the floater to go, get some help from the rim. So, Jose Pinares passes over the 30 point plateau. And a 13 point lead they have opened up against St. Peter's. So, halfway through the third quarter, that's where we are right now. St. Peter's, I just want to see him put some, put some points on the board. I mean, Vera Sink, ooh, with three attempts, but he got fouled. And it looked to be uh, number 32, Jonas Dakalunas. So Vera Sink will be going to the line to shoot three for St. Peter's. A good opportunity for them to cut into this lead. So Vera Sink's first shot sinks in. So second shot, everyone's going to stay where they are. This, this is a three-point shooting foul. And Veer Singh's second shot off the front of the rim, unfortunate. And a substitution, number, 20, number 24, Austin Roach, will be subbing in in place of Caleb Bishop for St. Peter's Prep. Veer Singh, his third attempt at the line. Hopefully it will be the same as his first. It isn't. It was the same result as his second, rimmed out. So only one point they get out of that. And it's very unfortunate. Ooh, a little miscommunication, but saved nonetheless by Adam Matola for Gil St. Bernard's. The same but uh, Stackalunas with a baseline three. Couldn't get it to go. Little pop action there. Jordan Harris with the rebound for St. Peter's Prep. Now coming down the court. Fast break. Naja Hunter passing action. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gil St. Bernard's. So Vera Singh will be inbound in the ball for St. Peter's. And he'll pass it to Austin Roach. And then back to Singh for a baseline shot. No help from the rim, but a rebound by Naja Hunter. Gets the two to go. So, this, this is uh, some slow and steady progress, but a foul is called, I believe. Foul is called to Gil St. Bernard, so St. Peter's will begin the ball back. Spears take another baseline shot off the front of the rim again. So, unlucky shooting right there. Gil St. Bernard's Wants to crush any opportunities St. Peter's may have future this game, but Stackalunas couldn't get the floater to go. And a foul by Stackalunas, and he, he knows it. So that was a holding call by Jonas Stackalunas. And we'll have a substitution for Gil St. Bernard's. Number 55, Julius Stoma, in place of Stackalunas, unsurprisingly. They kind of want Stackalunas to. Okay. So we'll resume action here. St. Peter's Prep has the ball. Veer Singh passing it down to Naja Hunter. Ooh, a baseline shot. Uh, not a baseline shot. A shot in the paint was airballed, but saved by St. Peter's Prep nonetheless. And 
Naja Hunter gets the two to go. So St. Peter's starting a scoring run here and a double team there could result in a St. Peter's steal. And once again, Naja Hunter. So just like that, St. Peter's cutting into Gil St. Bernard's lead. It's only 30 to 24 now. Gil St. Bernard's was up by as much as 13 at the uh, during this third quarter. And now it's only six. Now they need to have some offensive flow. Maybe that shot can give them a spark and a three-pointer right there. Number 10, Harrison DeMera. So that'll keep St. Peter's on the docks for right now. But another threat, Naja Hunter. He has made the last six points for St. Peter's so far. And another steal. Veer Sink has the ball now. Austin White driving in, gets the and one to go. Now we're seeing some action finally. St. Peter's now roaring out of the gate. So now it's 33 to 28. And we'll have a substitution. Nathaniel Pierre Lewis for St. Peter's prep. But it looks like not just yet we'll have a substitution. Pierre Lewis will stay on the bench for a little longer. Austin White, an opportunity to complete the and one attempt. 33 to 28 right now. St. Peter's has an opportunity to draw it within four. His shot goes in, so a good way to take advantage. It's only 33 to 29, a slim lead Go St. Bernard's has. Now they can't relax. They can't give an inch of comfort to themselves. They have to stay on pace with what they've been doing so far because St. Peter's is stepping up their game and they can't let St. Peter's back into this, but a foul is called, but it was on Gil St. Bernard's, an offensive foul. So that was JM Me, Gil St. Bernard's. St. Peter's, an opportunity to draw this game within one possession. And a traveling is called on Naja Hunter for St. Peter's prep. So there was an opportunity right there, and as quick as they got it, the quicker it went away. So Gil St. Bernard's will get the ball back. Number five, Adam Matola there with the inbounds pass. So number 12, John Michael May, J.M. May. A nice cross action to get to the other side of the court before the half court violation. But Jamie, looking for any target at this point, he'll find Matola. Matola gets a pick from Demarest, but he'll pass it on over to Stakalunas. But a three ball attempt. Ooh, couldn't get it to go. And rebounded by St. Peter's Prep. That was number 24, Austin Rush there with the rebound. Austin White. Ooh, but an offensive foul is called. It'll be Austin White there. He was trying to pass the ball and attempt the baseline three, but looks like Gil St. Bernard is prepared ahead of time and held their feet to the ground to get that charge called. So, Gil St. Bernard's just making the most out of this opportunity. Just making sure St. Peter's doesn't score and doing whatever they can to keep the ball in their hands and out of St. Peter's clutches, but the ball went it, stepped out of bounds. That was number 12, JM Me trying to draw a pass, but he stepped out of bounds before he could give the ball away. So, St. Peter's, another opportunity. 34 seconds only left in the third quarter. So, they may hold on for the last possession. And if they make this before the end of the quarter, it's going to be very encouraging. We might be seeing an interesting fourth quarter. So, looks like they will go to, go to hold for last possession. Veer Singh at the top of the key. But he'll take a three. This, ooh, unfortunately missed. But a little scramble for the ball. Ball goes out of bounds. It will stay with St. Peter's. Only 1.3 seconds to work with. So Veer Sink will be inbound. The ball's going to be a quick pass and shoot. Austin Miles with a three at the buzzer. Can't get it to go, unfortunately. So after a lackluster first half with a big lead by Go St. Bernard's, we finally see some uh, roar from St. Peter's prep. 
to end the third quarter as we head into the fourth. St. Gil, Bernard, Gil St. Bernard's led as much as 13 during this quarter, but now St. Peter's prep with some heavy defensive play and some uh, steals and some pressure. They're able to draw the game within four. So we're going to be seeing an interesting fourth quarter if this keeps up. So it's only a 33-29 lead Gil St. Bernard's holds. So I think if I were St. Peter's, if I were Todd Decker right now, I'd really devise some sort of strategy here, make sure always it never fails with the defensive strategy. Just hold them the one shot per possession and take advantage of any opportunities uh, in between with steals, uh, open passes. And of course for our third game, it's going to be me and Matt Nelson doing uh, the commentary. Matt Nelson will be providing the play-by-play. -play. I'll be doing color. And I'd just like to apologize to Matt right now for breaking his pen. But it seems like... Uh, he, he says it didn't break it, so all right, I take that back. So, okay, we're going to get into the fourth quarter here. And I believe that St. Peter's will start with the possession. They won, they won the tip off at the beginning of the game. So, Gold St. Bernard's had it second and third quarter. And now St. Peter's will start with the possession. It would have been great if they uh, made a shot before the end of the third quarter because they would have gotten the ball right back and had a chance to take, tie the game or at least take the lead. But they have to start off from square one with only down by four points. And we got Veer Sink with the ball at the top of the key. He'll take a shot. Oh, it was a three-pointer. So good way to start off the sec uh, fourth quarter. St. Peter's finally finding their offensive production, their offensive flow, and no better time to find it as we begin the fourth quarter here. It's only a one-point lead that Gil St. Bernard's holds. So Gil St. Bernard's looking for something to answer back. So right now, just some pass action between Damaris and Matola. But stolen ball, number 24, Austin Roach for St. Peter's Prep. An opportunity to take the lead, St. Peter's. And Pierre Lewis driving in, can't get the shot to go. Rebounded by Ian Damaris for Go St. Bernard's. And J.M. Me. He'll pass it to Julius Stoma. And Jamie once again with the ball, looking to drive in. He finds Matola open down on the baseline. Adam Matola driving around, gives it to Demarest. And Demarest trying to get the two to go. He gets it. So with some pressure from Pierre Lewis, Ian Demarest is able to find some space to get the two to go. So it's only 35 to 32 now in favor of Gil St. Bernard's. And Veer Sink passing it. A three ball attempt by Austin Roach. Can't get it to go. But rebounded by St. Peter's Prep. Ooh. Once again, another miss. That was number one, Naja Hunter, but whistle blown. And a jump ball. It will go to Gil St. Bernard's. And we got a substitution, number 32. Jonas, Jonas Stackalunas will be subbing in for Gil St. Bernard's. So go St. Pinar, it's an, an opportunity to make this a two-possession game again. But a foul is called on Veer Sink on St. Peter's. So that was a non-shooting foul. So go St. Pinar's will just inbound the ball. Looks like J.M. Me has it. So Jamie driving down the lane, he'll find Ian Damaris for a three-pointer, can't get it to go. St. Peter's prep come down with it. Hunter, a nice way to thread the needle to get it to Austin White, to get the two to go. So once again, it's a one-point game, 35-34 to 34 in favor of Gil St. Bernard. St. Peter's has been playing catch-up for most of this game. I don't think they held the lead at any point. But... It's we're approaching five and a half minutes remaining here in the fourth. So, Go St. Bernard's wants to play with the clock a little bit. And driving in Adam Matola. All right, good job by him to get the layup to go. 37 to 34. So, Go St. Bernard's keeping the steady offensive flow going. So, I think if St. Pierce wants to be aggressive, they should take a three right here. And they have an opportunity. Austin White with a three. There you go. It's high game now. 
So that gets the St. Peter's crowd going. We're under five minutes now. It's a tie game. A draw at 37. A timeout called by Gil St. Bernard's. So an opportunity to for Gil St. Bernard's to regroup and try to devise another strategy. But St. Peter's shouldn't stop with what they're doing because it's finally working. It was a 60-second timeout by Gil St. Bernard's. So we were looking at a completely different game at the end of the first half. We saw Gil St. Bernard's. Um, if they kept it going, they could have just rode off into the sunset with a victory here tonight. But St. Peter's Prep making a run for their money. And St. Peter's Prep being 14-2, and two, this is what they got their reputation for. So it's a tie at 37, 456 remaining here in the fourth quarter. So once again, this is the Newark National Invitational being brought to you here live on the web by NJ.org Varsity. I'm your play-by-play -play man, Dan Graham. And this is the second of our three-game coverage. The first game was handled by Matt Nelson. It was a girls' game against Shabazz and Blair Academy. Shabazz ended up defeating Blair Academy. And we're still waiting for the result of this game. And then after this, it's St. Benedict's prep against Roselle Catholic. So, J.M. Me with the ball. He'll find Ian Demarest down, down low. Ooh, but trying to force a pass. It was stolen by Naja Hunter. So a chance for Naja Hunter and the prep to take the lead. And a three-pointer. Help from the rim. Pierre Lewis with a three-pointer. Got some help from the rim and the glass. You get that three to go. And a three-pointer trying to be answered. Number 10, Harrison Demera answers back with a three of his own. So the game is tied once again. So both benches getting ready to stand up for these final four minutes and ten seconds. Because it looks like no one's, no one's in control right now. It's just a matter of possession. Austin White couldn't handle the pass from Veer Singh. So St. Peter's Prep will relinquish control of the ball for right now and go back to Gil St. Bernard's. So Matola inbounding the ball for Gil St. Bernard's and J.M. Me once again with the ball. And Jamie has an opportunity to take a shot. Sinks it. 42 to 40. Gil St. Bernard's again. So the Gil St. Bernard's bench is on their feet right now. Hardly a soul that's sitting down. But yeah, they'll sit down right now. They just have to calm down. Because we got another 3 minutes and 40 seconds to play in this quarter. So St. Peter's Prep trying to be patient and steady with their offensive production. Fear Singh with a 3. Wow. So many possessions, so many made shots. St. Peter's holds a one-point lead over Gil St. Bernard's. J.M. Me trying to answer back. He has Pierre Lewis on him pretty hard, trying to drive in the lane. Ooh, a nice block by Veer Sink, but saved nonetheless by Gil St. Bernard's, but stolen by Austin White. He's trying to drive in, and a two-pointer can't get to go. Ooh, a nice tip to get the two. Up. So like Austin White took the shot. And just a little tip ball just ended up going in the net. It might have been just an own shot by Gil St. Bernard's on the tip. Nothing you can do about that. But Gil St. Bernard's trying to answer, but a steal once again. Austin White coming down. Chance to make those two possessions. Yeah! 47-42. St. Peter's prep. So Gil St. Bernard's really, really just putting the pressure on themselves here. Just play, trying to play fast. And they know they don't have enough time left. But five points in the last two and a half minutes. Nothing to worry about, but a foul is called on St. Peter's Prep. So Austin broke for St. Peter's Prep being called for that one. So, Jam Me inbounding the ball to Matola. And some pass action once again. Matola trying to drive into Damaris. Damaris made a man fall. But a three-point. Ooh, a traveling is called. Number 32, Jonas Decalunas lined up for a three, but got called for a travel before the shot went off. But we got a timeout by Gil St. Bernard's.
So St. Peter's Prep making an impressive run here in the fourth quarter. They ended off uh, the third quarter on a pretty strong note. They're only down by four. They were down it for as high as 13 this whole game. But they took that to their advantage here in the fourth quarter. They've been making most of their shots, if not, if not all of them. And I can, tell you, I can tell you one person on our crew who is pretty happy about this uh, surge by St. Peter's Prep is our executive producer, Jay Treble. His son is an alumnus of St. Peter's Prep. So he's probably quietly rooting up there as he's operating almost everything else with the equipment. The cameras, the uh, programming switchboard, the live streaming. So a lot of uh, credit to Jay Treble, the executive producer here for NJ.org Varsity, to bring you this three-game stretch for today at the Newark National Invitational. We're going to resume play. And St. Peter's Prep will start with the ball. Before that timeout, Jonas Stakalunas got called for a travel when he was trying to attempt a three. So, Mergencina pulled a timeout after the travel, so St. Peter's will continue with the ball. Pierre Lewis will pass it on over to Naja, uh, not, yeah, Naja Hunter. And Veer Singh once again has the ball. The money man. Ooh, stolen away by Adam Matola. Nice strip action. And a nice block by Austin White, but is called for a foul. A good job by him, nonetheless. But it looked like the ref saw something else. He may have saw some skin action. And Austin White couldn't believe it. So we're going to get two at the line from number five, Adam Matola. Adam Matola had a fast break right there, had an op open opportunity to make a layup. But Austin White came in from behind and swatted it away. His first shot went in, and now we have a substitution. Veer Singh will be sitting out for right now. And we got Jordan Harris subbing in for Singh for St. Peter's Prep. We got Adam Matola's second shot. Makes it a one-possession game. 47 to 44 in favor of St. Peter's Prep. A minute 50 left in this game. Ooh, he stepped out of bounds. Number 11, Jordan Harris. Not getting off the best of starts as he just came onto the court, but he was, for the most part, pushed out of bounds or pressured out of bounds. So that's where we are right now. And driving in, he'll say, but it's a charging call. Austin Roach was able to plant his feet to get the charge. And emergency I just couldn't believe it. But a timeout is called. So we're going to be having a quick timeout. So once again, a minute 43 remaining here in the game. And St. Peter's Prep holds a 47-44 to lead over Gil St. Bernard's. And just before that timeout, Austin Roach was able to draw an offensive foul, a charge. So once again, in about a minute 43 seconds, we'll be bringing you the third game of this tournament. We got the host of this tournament, St. Benedict's Prep, and Roselle Catholic on the other end. But before we jump ahead and skip forward to another game, I want to see how this one ends, as much as everyone watching wants to as well. So number one, Naja Hunter will be inbound the ball, and Austin Roche will give it right back to him. So... Looks like St. Uh, St. Bernard's really wants to apply some pressure here. I don't think they want to draw a foul, but they do. So it looks like they're going to play the foul game for right now. So that's their eighth team foul. So we're approaching uh, shooting fouls.
Yeah, so that was his fourth personal. And Austin White will go into the line to shoot two for St. Peter's Prep. His first shot goes. But part of my French, it was not uh, shooting for two. It's a one and one. So Austin White made it a four-point lead. You can make it a five right now. Both go in. So, so St. Peter's prep. Some steady pace right here. Only a minute 32 remaining. So Gil St. Bernard's ball goes out of bounds and I will take the courtesy of passing the ball back. So a little mishandling of the ball there by J.M. Me ends up giving the ball back to St. Peter's Prep. Ooh, a deep ball right there. Ooh, bit off a little more than he could chew. Nigel Hunter tried to give a deep pass to Austin White, but the ball went out of bounds. So not exactly the smartest of things, but he saw an opportunity, so he decided to take his chances, and it didn't fall in his favor, unfortunately. So you might be getting chewed out by Todd Decker right now, but if they win this game, you can just forget all about it. So inbound in the ball was number five, Adam Matola for Gil St. Bernard's, and Ian Demers trying to drive in. They can't play with the clock right now. Clock is nobody's friend, as we all know, no matter what sport you play. But a three-pointer by Demers, sinks it! So two-point game once again, 49 to 47. And Nigel Hunter calls a timeout for St. Peter's Prep. So a minute and one remaining here in the game. A 49-47 lead held by St. Peter's Prep. And that three-pointer by Ian Demarest was able to cut that lead down to two. So what else can I say? This has been a very interesting game. We kind of had low expectations of this half at the end of the first half with a 10-point lead by Gil St. Bernard's and they seem to be in total control. But now we're seeing a game that's come down to the last minute, much like the game that preceded this. Shabazz and Blair Academy came down to the last minute as well. So looks like everyone's getting a, a quick run for their money. And Shabazz defeated Blair in the previous game, 72-67. to But it was a close nail-biter to the last minute. And Shabazz was able to pull away with it. So we're going to continue our... Our action here as we approach the final minute of this game. Naja Hunter wants to inbound the ball. He'll find Austin Roach. They'll give it back to Hunter. Hunter giving it down to Pierre Lewis. Down low to Austin White. A chance to extend their lead. Lose control of the ball, but... Looks like an out-of-bounds call. It will stay with St. Peter's Prep. So Veer Singh will be inbound on the ball. He'll find somebody. Right now he doesn't know yet. He had another timeout called by St. Peter's Prep. So St. Peter's Prep really draining what's left of their timeouts here. So another break in the action here. Still a two-point lead by St. Peter's Prep. 54 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Right now leading... Leading both teams in fouls this half is number 12, J.M. Me. He has four. One more and he's out. And it looks like both Mergencina and Todd Decker want to implement a strategy here. Because it's still anybody's game. But if I were Todd Decker, I'd just find a way to just contain it, contain it all. And on the next offensive possession, try to get another... Uh, two points to go in, make sure that Gil St. Bernard's is playing with their backs up against the wall with a two possession game in front of them and only less than a minute remaining and I think if I were St. Peter's I would really make Gil St. Bernard's play the, the foul game and get some opportunities at the foul line because Gil St. Bernard's is getting close to, that, to those uh, team fouls to start giving uh, St. Peter's two at the line So, we're going to inbound the ball. 
number 33, Sean Ryan. Oh, at the top of the court. Ooh, scramble for the ball taken by Gil St. Bernard. It's an opportunity for them to tie this game or take the lead. Stolen away by Gil St. Uh, St. Peter's Prep. An opportunity to make it a two-possession game. Pierre Lewis can't get it to go, but a foul is called nonetheless. So, very heartbreaking right there for Gil St. Bernard. They had an opportunity to tie this game. They stole the ball away, but it was stolen back by St. Peter's Prep. And now we got a shooting foul on, for St. Peter's Prep, an opportunity for them to extend their lead. It was called on number 55, Julius Stoma, for Gil St. Bernard's. And the first shot for Jordan Whitehead goes in. So, it makes it a three point game. So, Gil St. Bernard's looks to be pressured and taking the three right now. They really have no, uh, no comfort here. And St. Peter's wants to make sure that they're the most uncomfortable with for the remaining 43.1 seconds. Jordan Whitehead makes a second shot, so. Looks like Gilsey Bernard is going to be walking on uh, eggshells for the rest of this game. And they have to find a way to get up to court for a 10 second violation. And they make their way to the other side of the court. They can't rush anything. Stolen away by number 33, Sean Ryan. It looks like St. Peter's prep can just write off into the sunset, but not before Gil St. Bernard's plays the foul game. So they got to take advantage of these foul opportunities. So Gil St. Bernard's has maxed out. That is their 10th team foul. So no matter what happens here, St. Peter's will go to line and shoot two for every foul. Pierre Lowe's will be taking the honors for St. Peter's prep. His first shot goes up and in. 52 to 47. So Pierre Lewis makes it a little more uncomfortable with a second of his two made. 53 to 47, St. Peter's leads now. And now, Gil St. Bernard's looking for an opportunity. Sinks the three. Harrison Demera sinks the three. And Harrison Demera will get the intentional foul. So Gil St. Bernard's not done just yet. So a great answer right there by Harrison DeMera for Gil St. Bernard's to make that three to cut the lead in half. But they still have to play the foul game and Austin White has two opportunities here to just add on to this lead, make sure it's a two-possession game from here on out and St. Peter's can't be walking away with a victory. But we got... A stoppage in play. So Jonas Ducklunas will be subbing in for JM May. Looks like he just got a little shaken up and the trainers are looking at him right now. But Austin White will be going to shoot two from the line. His first shot. Goes in. So a four point lead for St. Peter's Prep with 0.7 seconds remaining. And here comes the second attempt. Coming up right about now. Austin White, second shot goes in. So five points really makes it difficult for Gil St. Bernard's to stay in this game. But a shot by number five, Adam Batola, doesn't go. But 1.4 seconds remain. So the inbounds will be going to Austin White and St. Peter's will walk away with a victory in this game. A well-deserved victory on their part. Once again, they were down by as much as 13 in this game and that was in the third quarter. It was like it was in the beginning. The third quarter, they were down by as much as 13. They had an impressive scoring run going during the third quarter and they were able to keep biting away at Gold St. Bernard's lead, commanding lead. And they were down by four to end the third quarter and then it was all St. Peter's from that point on, the fourth quarter. Very interesting last minute of the game, but St. Peter's is able to roll away with a 55 to 50 victory. So St. Peter's prep advances to 15 and 2 overall this season. And Gil St. Bernard's unfortunately drops to 12 and 4. But as much as that was a great game on both ends and the competitive 
uh, spirit for both teams. One had to walk away with a victory. So we're going to be going away for a little bit. And we'll be back for our third and final game of the Newark National Invitational Tournament here on the campus of Essex County College in Newark, New Jersey. Our third and final game will be between St. Benedict's Prep, the host of this tournament, and Roselle Catholic. So we're going to be seeing some more action, as I hope. Because we've seen plenty of action in the first two games. Games that really went down to the last minute. And I expect the same from St. Ben uh, St. Benedict's Prep and Roselle Catholic. So for right now, this is Daniel Graham signing off. We'll see you for the third game, where Matt Nelson and I will be providing commentary and play-by-play. -play. So we'll see you for the next.